Sometimes the smaller truck does the better job. The Toyota Tacoma is tiny, but only compared to these giant hulks we've been testing recently, like the Nissan Titan and Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. Truth is, mid-sized pickups like this can do most everything a full-size pickup can, and everything it can't, like fit in a parking garage, for less money. For 2020, Toyota has added more technology and style, especially for this little beast right here, the TRD Pro. I'll show you which trim to buy, but before we learn about how the Tacoma drives, first we need to learn how it crawls. It's truck time. Let's skip to the good part. The TRD Pro is the hardcore choice for off-roaders. It comes factory stocked with useful gear and electronics to put you into the fun zone and take you back out if you're not a total fool. Now, check this out. One inch lift on the front, thick aluminum skid plate. We got tires here reinforced with Kevlar, 16 inch TRD wheels that are four pounds lighter than the previous model, and Fox Racing shocks all around with remote reservoirs back here. Now, all this is the type of stuff that might seem like it's overkill, but what it does is it turns speed bumps into launch pads. Both TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro come with an electronic locking rear differential, which ensures that both of those rear wheels turn at the same speed. Plus, they have the closest thing to a self-driving truck that there is, crawl control. Switch the four-wheel drive system to four low and choose one of five speed settings. It's cruise control for the trail. The system will brake, accelerate, and modulate torque, so all you have to do is steer. But maybe you want to take control. Deactivate crawl control and engage multi-terrain select. It also has five settings, including one for moguls. It adapts the throttle and traction control to the surface, plus it switches on the 360 degree cameras with all these lines to show you how much clearance you have on the side and front. You can watch the truck's roll angle too. The cameras are fuzzy, but with about 10 inches of ground clearance, I think you'll do just fine without them. This is just fun. The same engines remain on the 2020 Tacoma. The base SR and SR5 come with a 2.7 liter inline four with 159 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque. Optional is the 3.5 liter V6 with 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet. That engine is standard on all higher trims along with a six-speed automatic transmission. On TRD models, you can also choose a six-speed manual. Four-wheel drive is optional on all trims except on the TRD Pro. On the road, the Tacoma is a lot slower than you'd expect. All the great things that make it a champ on the trail, like its slow steering and lazy throttle, work against you in traffic. The transmission also upshifts early and then it tends to hunt gears like, like that. It happens all the time and it's pretty annoying. You can fix that by pressing this button, which holds the gears longer. Really, that should have been the default. The TRD Pro also comes with a sport exhaust, and I really don't like it. And I usually love loud sport exhaust, but this one just sounds like the muffler just rusted through. Mm. The Tacoma isn't that big, yet it's kind of difficult to keep this truck centered, and it's loud. Now this is the TRD Pro, and Toyota does make versions of this truck with more street-friendly suspensions and tires. But we reviewed a Tacoma Limited just last year, and it felt pretty much the same. Also, fuel economy is bad for a small truck. It's actually worse than many full-size trucks. With the V6, the EPA rates it at 18 MPG city and 22 highway. With the four, it's 20 city and 23 highway. It's pretty lousy. But you can tow up to 6,800 pounds and put 1,440 pounds in the bed. That's really good. And remember, this is not a RAV4. This is a truck. It's built to work. For 2020, Toyota has added new lights, grills, and colors. The TRD Pro now comes with new headlights with light up letters and sequential turn signals. The grill is slightly different, but just as chunky and aggressive. I love the hood scoop. The fog lights are also new and have housings to protect them from rocks. The Tacoma comes in either a five or a six foot bed with the access cab or the four door double cab. The TRD Pro and Limited only come with that shorter bed and there's not a ton of room inside but you do get a power outlet down here and four sliding cleats to tie down cargo. Makes it nice and easy. It's kind of tight inside the Tacoma, so don't expect to run around with three of your friends for too long, but it is comfortable up front. The materials are decent, but they could have better fit and finish. 
New for 2020 is an available 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa. The nav has fast web searches and is available Wi-Fi and wireless charging. New for 2020 also is a whole suite of safety features, including forward emergency braking, pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. What's great is that everything is simple and easy. Big knobs for the climate, more switches for the radio, larger knobs for the four-wheel drive controls. It's back to basics in here, and I like that. I just wish there were some more color choices available. This all black is kind of boring. Thankfully, you can get orange trim on the dash and seats if you order the TRD Off-Road. That's the trim that Cargoers recommends. Now, order the technology package with the LED headlights and the long bed for $39,925 with destination. Now, you're not going to get factory nav or some of the other extra hardware bits, but you still get upgraded Bilstein dampers and most of the TRD Pro's hardware for a lot less. This truck I'm in now, $48,000. I think that's a little too high. Among mid-sized pickups with this much capability, the Tacoma TRD Pro is worth it against the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. And the resale value on those TRD Pros is incredible. And again, so is the resale value on the all-new Jeep Gladiator, which is even more hardcore than the Toyota or the Chevy. It's a really tough call, so which truck would you pick? For full details on the 2020 Tacoma, read my review at cargurus.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.